Hello, hello! My name is Callista, and welcome back to Life is Strange 2. In the last episode, Sean managed to escape from the hospital. We also found Finn whilst we were escaping, and he gave what I can only describe as a not apology. Sean did not accept it, and in response to that, rather than saying, okay, you know what, yeah, I screwed you over, that's fair. Instead, Finn doubled down and was like, oh, I did it for freedom, I did it for peace. Yeah, that that's not an apology. If you're trying to justify your actions and not accepting that your victim does not accept your apology, you're not really sorry then, are you? Finn... Finn has left a rather sour taste in my mouth. He is a manipulative arsehole. I do not like him. And I am very glad that he is stuck in a hospital and he's going to go to prison. Fuck him. But yeah, Sean is driving. He It looks like he's going to fall asleep. I think he's probably going to crash. This is, this is not great. Guess this is my room for the night. Okay, let's... Fuck. My eye's itchy. Oof. I should probably clean it before I doze off. Yeah. Yeah, you absolutely should. Shit. I will never hold until Haven Point. Oh, God. What a mess. Flores can now add Grand Theft Auto to my file. 
Yeah, you you are racking up the charges. Guess I'm kind of lucky I stole a smoker's car. Oh, come on. Did you interview everyone in that hospital? Or what? Oh, God. This isn't even the one we had. Shit. Shit. I mean, why wouldn't she have? Why? Oh, God. Hey. I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs> This is gonna end badly. It's gonna end badly. Snuck out of the hospital through the window. Wasn't easy with only one eye. Didn't realize how fucking high up I was. Maybe it helped. Uh, what does that say? <laughs> oh shit. Bumped into Finn on my way down the scaffolding. It messed me up. Brought back too many memories, but I gotta focus on what's more important. Find, reach Dan, reach Nevada, find Daniel. So, so hard to drive. Fucking, fucking miracle I haven't been in a wreck yet. Gonna pull over soon so I can rest. Driving in the dark with one eye is the absolute worst. Would feel a lot safer walking on the edge of a cliff on a moonless night. Ooh. Clean up your eye. Oh, God. She seems nice. Sorry I stole your car, guys. Oh. Shit. Guess I fucked up her day pretty bad. Oh, what is that? 8.45, drop off kids. Hospital checkup. Lunch with hubby. Uh, Miss Scott's x-ray and blood test. Pick up the kids, night shift, must-do list. Oh, I'm so, I'm so sorry, madam. I'm so sorry. No, let's, let's turn it on. There we go. Okay. Haven Point is straight ahead. Just a few more hours drive. Okay. Okay, I'm... I'm assuming we're here? Or we could be at one of these stops, I'm not entirely sure, but still he's, he's driven quite a way. God, I'm just... I, I know I keep saying this, but this cannot end well. Like, what is the likelihood that we're gonna be able to drive straight into Mexico? I... Okay. I'm, I'm just thinking, Sean, do you, do you remember what to do? Do you remember what to do? Because I only vaguely remember. I don't even know how long I should keep on using this for. Uh, he said for the next week, I believe, or the next four days. No, it was four times a All day right. for the next week. Careful. Man, I should have listened to Joey. This is a mess. Yeah, I, uh... Not gonna lie, I don't think I could have done that. I do not think I could have done that. I don't even know how long I should keep on using this for. I am, I am extremely squeamish when it comes to eyes. Okay, get some sleep here. Yeah, we've looked at the stuff. Yet we've looked at everything. Okay, yeah, let's let's get some rest.
Still with me, Sean? <laughs> yeah. Just... zoning out. Just don't do that when you're driving, my son. So, uh, what's the verdict on the new car? I know it's not a new board, but it's got board hot wheels. Thanks for finishing it, Dad. A perfect reward for your excellent report card. <laughs> I'm proud, Sean. You don't even bullshit me when you need cash. And I'll try to be cool. No dad jokes, huh? I hope you're not too bummed out to go on a big road trip with your lovely papito, huh? <laughs> Dreaming about what might have been. <laughs> oh, please. You're the coolest dad. How could I be bummed? Excuse me. <laughs> Where's my regular, emotionless son? <laughs> I appreciate it. Think we can hang out for five days without killing each other? Hell yeah. Haven't done that since I was a kid. Miss it. So do I. Been too long since we went padre hijo against the road. Way too long. I love road trips. Good to hear. <laughs> By the way, boy talk. What's going on with that gin, huh? <laughs> Dude, Jen, Jen was not right or die. <laughs> Screw Jen and not like that. Uh, well... Not much to talk about. That was like pulling teeth. Well, I've got a week to find out the truth. Yeah, it, it, no, no, she wasn't ride or die. Screw her. Even in dreams, Sean knows he can do better. It's, uh, over, Dad. Too much shit going on. It didn't work out. Ah, oh, hmm. She seemed like a nice girl. But I'm not worried about my handsome, shiny boy, huh? <laughs> ah, could that be Daniel? Hola. Hello. Everything okay, Lila? Oh, Daniel better not be giving you any sass. He's driving real slow and safe, like a grandma. Thanks for checking in. We'll buzz you when we hit the motel. Lila, you ready? Sounds good. And Sean, Jen wants you to call her <laughs> when you have time. Hmm. Doesn't sound like it's over for everyone here. Jeez. Uh, I don't know. Seriously, though, how are you really doing? It's between I miss you and I've changed. I, th I think he's done things that he thought he never would have done. I'm so different now. I don't even recognize myself. Because you've changed. It's like evolution. I know it hurts. <laughs> Big time. Guess I wasn't ready to change. I have total faith in you, Sean. You're a Diaz. You were born to roam and find your way home. God, I love you, Dad. Wish I would have told you more. You didn't have to tell me. You showed me. Oh, by the way, Sean. Oh. Hey, wake up. Huh? Huh? What? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing on our property? Huh? Oh, man, I crashed hard. Oh, yeah? Come on out, boy. Who the fuck is that? A fucking kid. Get out. Oh, G Jesus. Um. You deaf? Oh. I said out. 
Oh, we don't need cops to deal with assholes like you anyway. Listen, I don't want any trouble. Too late for that, boy. So tell us what the fuck you're doing on our land. I... drove for so long, I... I had to pull over to get some rest, you know? I swear, I had no idea this was your property. There's a fucking sign? Didn't you see it? I... was too exhausted. I guess I missed it. He's just a kid, and he's hurt. Look. Yeah? What happened to your eye? I... got into an accident. Oh, yeah? Uh-huh. Move it! <sighs> Please. I just want to go. Ho-ho! <laughs> What's this? Drugs? Yeah, for my eye. Oh, yeah. Did you steal them? Like this car? Listen, it's not what you think. Oh, I think it is. You ain't the first beaner we caught. Take his backpack. Dude, come on. Get it! Let's see what he's holding. So? Nothing good. Any money? Fucking toys, man. You still play with toys? Seriously? It belongs to my brother! Leave it alone! We are in no position to be doing anything! Oh, your brother? Where is he now? Well, I'm going to meet him! In a stolen car? More lies. Okay, Chad. We fucked with him. Hey. Let him go. He's got Hold on nothing. a sec, Mike. You speak Spanish, Pedro? Huh? What? 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 Hablas Espanol. Chad. So, Professor, how do you say, I'm a dirty thief? Oh, you don't want to oh. share your language? <laughs> Dude, I'm trying to okay. think game. Maybe you know this one. Uh, I'm a dirty thief with one eye. <laughs> Soy un ladrón y chinga tu madre. Uh, wait, madre? Uh... What did you really say, asshole? Huh? All I want to do is learn Espanol. <laughs> Might be our official language someday, right? See, si, senor? So... One more lesson. How do you say, this is not my country? Fuck off. This is my country. Hoo-hoo-wee! <laughs> Did you hear that? Look, Chad, it's gonna rain. Let's go before we get soaked. No, we took the country back. Hold on. This little thief is fucking with me. You're really pissing me off, you know that? But I'm willing to give you one last chance to make things right. Sing something. What? Just pass the audition and you're free. We'll be very upset if you refuse. We're gonna get our ass beat, but I don't think he would. No. Really? Okay. I warned you, boy. Stop! Stop it, Chad! Uh, what the fuck, man? Uh, 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 Dude, stop your brother! Uh, 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 holy cow! What are you doing? Listen, you little beaner. Get your shit and go. Now. <sighs> Look, just drive straight and you'll hit the highway. Forget this happened, man, okay?
<sighs> God, I I want to stop and talk about that. I want to stop and I want to stop and talk about that. I feel absolutely horrific. Absolutely horrific there. So the the wolf brothers were split apart. The oldest wolf was badly hurt, but nothing could stop the wolf from following his brother's tracks. Yeah, I am pausing there. I am pausing there. That was um that was horrific. That was absolutely horrific. I How do we have $17? It doesn't matter. Um I just That was awful. That was absolutely awful. And I When I say it was awful, I don't mean that like that was awful. This game is shit. Ugh. I mean that was that was heartbreaking. That was absolutely heartbreaking. And I... I'm, I'm genuinely quite shocked. I, I think this might be my favourite episode so far. All the others have been pretty middling, but right there, because of the emotional response it elicited from me, I, I think this may end up being my favourite episode. I... Oh, God. Because one of them seemed like he had a conscience. And here's the thing. In my opinion, if you realise something is wrong and you don't do anything, that is so much worse than doing the thing. That was piss poor English, but I hope you understand what I mean. The guy who beat up Sean versus his brother who did nothing but knew it was wrong i think the one who did nothing is so much worse than the one who beat sean up because he just seemed like a dickhead he seemed like a racist piece of shit and here's the thing if you are so stupid as to think that you know oh america's for white people it doesn't matter that this was owned by the native americans first no it was our country white people all the way if you're anything darker than mocha on a dulux color chart you're inferior like if you are that stupid then clearly your brain is malformed and i can't hold you responsible i can't hold you responsible but you know if, if you are that stupid if you are that thick and blind like i can't help but feel badly for you like did you not go to school were your parents responsible for this like are you just a hateful person like i view them as idiots i view them as pure idiots but someone who knows this is wrong i am smart enough and have enough common sense to understand that what we are doing is wrong but rather than stick my own neck out and try and help i'm just gonna stand on the side whilst my brother beats up this poor mexican kid and i'm just gonna wave my arms like oh my god what are you doing i'm like i find that so much more offensive because you know better he's a moron he's a moron he's a dickhead and a dipshit he does not know what the fuck he is doing and i like I said, I, I'm, I'm angry at him. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that that absolves this racist asshat of 
all responsibility and accountably, but he, do he doesn't know any better. If he is so stupid as to genuinely believe that, then I'm like, he's a moron. He's a moron. But you are smart enough to know better. You are smart enough to know better and you didn't do shit. I find that so much more offensive. The guy who beat up Sean is still responsible for his actions, but the guy who stood there and did nothing also whilst realizing this is wrong. We are doing something really bad here and I'm not going to step in because I don't want to face my brother's eye. I'm just like, ooh, sir, sir. You may think you hold less responsibility here because you're not the one kicking, but you're the one who realizes that this is wrong. You're the one who realizes that you are crossing a line and you are doing something fucked up and you aren't doing jack shit to stop it. For that reason, I hate you far more than the guy who's doing the beating up. I, like, that was quite shocking. That was extremely shocking. And this is yet another instance of Sean having to deal with hatred so unfairly, so unjust. I mean, hell, when, when is hatred ever justified let's be honest if you've reached the point of hatred then we have gone far beyond just and reasonable and oh god it, it was one th the hank stamper situation was one thing but right now we've we've been badly beaten we were woken from sleep badly beaten and i just everything is going wrong Everything is going wrong. And like I said, I do have an interest in role playing, Sean. I don't just kind of want to pick the things that like, oh, I think this would work out for the best. And I, I have been role playing him as this. He, he wants to be responsible. He wants to do the right thing. He wants to keep his brother safe. But time and time again, he keeps being fucked over. He keeps being fucked over because of the colour of his skin and because that means he doesn't belong. Despite the fact that he was born in America, he was raised here. This is just as much his country as it is the people who were descended from Europeans who nicked the land from the Native Americans. Like, he has every right to be here just as much as the white people do. And yet he's being punished for something he had no choice over. He didn't pop out the womb like, I want to be Mexican, mother. Like, he, he was born that way. He was born that way. There is nothing wrong with the colour of his skin. And yet he is being fucked over time and time again. And now he has been so badly hurt. And I could very easily see him sort of going down a darker path. People are screwing me over. I have tried to be good. I have tried to be responsible. And bad shit keeps on happening to me. No more. I I could very easily see this being the start of, not exactly his villain era, but I think from here on out, after seeing that, I, I think that was where Sean made a stand. Every other time I've had him try and de-escalate. I've had him try and de-escalate situations, but after that, I think I'm going to be playing Sean as far more ruthless because that was that was some bullshit. That was some bullshit right there. Yep, I've read that. Oh, racist dickheads beat the shit out of me because I wouldn't let them humiliate me. My whole body hurts, stomach, lungs. Shit, I don't care. My only priority is to find Daniel. No more gas, gotta walk. End of the road. I. Yeah, I, I think after that, that's where Sean takes a stand. He's not going to be pushed over anymore. He's not going to be used or humiliated. I, I think we are going to see a far more ruthless Sean from here on okay. out. Still a few hours away from Haven Point. Almost there. Okay, however, <sighs> however, I am just about out of time for this episode. In the next one, can we reach Haven Point? Find out then, but please remember to like if you enjoyed, leave a comment below, and if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode.